And he goes deep down the right sideline. It is caught by Amari Cooper. How did he take that one away? Marcus Peters, the rookie, picking Peyton Manning. It's intercepted Sean Smith. Sean Smith's got it. Chiefs are picking everything they can find. When the Kansas City Chiefs visit the Oakland Raiders in week 13, we are treated to a fantastic matchup between one of the top pass catchers in Amari Cooper and a pair of terrific cornerbacks in Marcus Peters and Sean Smith. Let's use next-gen stats to break down this matchup. Here we're going to look at the board and where Amari Cooper lines up as it relates to where he's got the number of receptions. Just looking at the top, the thing that stands out to me, 70% of his receptions have come when he's lined up out wide. And even looking at the tape, I noticed that it's nearly 50-50 in terms of where he catches the ball when he lines up to the right and to the left. So the Kansas City Chiefs have a tough task in dealing with Amari Cooper. Let's take a look at the All-22 to look at the challenge that Cooper presents. Here against the Tennessee Titans, Cooper is lined up at the right. He is going to run a post-out route. Watch him come off the ball, takes it hard inside, whips back outside, creates plenty of space with the move. He was a terrific route run at Alabama, easy throw and catch for Derek Carr. These are one, some of the traits that I liked about him when he was coming out. Down at the bottom of the screen, once again, one-on-one -on -one coverage. He is more than just an intermediate route runner. He has the ability to get vertical, clocked a 4-4-2 at the combine. There you see his max speed reach over 19 miles an hour, which gives him enough separation to make a nice over-the-shoulder catch from Derek Carr. Last week, the Kansas City Chiefs struggled against Sammy Watkins. He had a big game, six catches, over 150 yards, two touchdowns. Interestingly, all of his receptions came on the left side of the field, mostly against Sean Smith. But in looking at the Kansas City Chiefs, I love this secondary and how the young guys challenge receivers at the line of scrimmage. Marcus Peters down here, one-on-one -on -one coverage against Sammy Watkins. Nose to nose and bump and run. There you see the space at the line of scrimmage. He is not going to allow Sammy Watkins to run away. Good jam, stays on top. Hip pocket position. Not a lot of space for Tyrod Taylor to fit this throw in. Tough for quarterbacks to fit the ball in the tight windows. The Chiefs excel in that area. Sean Smith against the Detroit Lions. Calvin Johnson one-on-one. -on -one. Once again, bump and run coverage. Nose to nose at the line of scrimmage. Look at the technique. Good left-hand jam, stays on top, squeezes it to the sideline. Not a lot of room for Matt Stafford to fit this throw in to Calvin Johnson. The Kansas City Chiefs have one of the best secondaries in football. There you see the stats, they rank fourth in quarterback rating allowed, tied for third with interceptions. But ultimately, football is a game of matchups, so the onus falls on Bill Musgrave, the Raiders' offensive coordinator, to create big play opportunities for the Raiders' top receiver. With Sean Smith and Marcus Peters providing a huge challenge on the outside, how they deploy Amari Cooper could determine if the Raiders can get a big win at home. Thanks for watching Next Gen Stats presented by Esurance.